It's not what it looks like, it's what it can do for you. Hello everyone and welcome to a series that isn't a series, Cooking with Ant. <laughs> And for today's culinary delight, we're going to be making banana candles. Now you might be wondering, what are banana candles? Well, this is what they are. And I know what you're thinking, these definitely look like. Yeah, aubergines. Totally look like aubergines. Hang on. Were you thinking about something else? Filthy, get your mind out of the gutter. Of course they look like aubergines. Nah, I'm kidding, they look like dicks. Yeah, so this vintage recipe was apparently invented to turn bananas into candles for a centerpiece on your table, which is what I've read. I've also read that apparently it was invented for a child's party food. <coughs> now, if someone invented this as a child's party food, then those people are perverts. There's nothing kid-friendly about these banana candles. Candles. I have to keep doing quotations because they're not candles. The little willies. But anyway, I'm excited to get my banana on, so let's get cooking. I say cooking, there's absolutely no cooking involved. <laughs> okay, so I've read a couple of different recipes on how to make these banana candles, and one of them required you to make these gelatin stands, which, to be fair, I'm sick of gelatin. I did plenty of gelatin last time. It just looks like vomit. Not doing it again. And for some reason, these vintage recipes and people who were living in like the 40s, 50s, 60s, maybe even the 70s were obsessed with gelatin. I don't know why. It's weird. Stop it. But I found a different recipe that replaces the gelatin with pineapple and that sounds way nicer. I've also bought this lovely fancy marble dish because I really wanted to class these candles up and this cost a fortune. I'm joking, it's completely plastic. But I thought this would make it look far more Fancy, I suppose. So the first step is the pineapples. And I wasn't gonna buy a fresh pineapple and cut a pineapple and go to effort for this because it doesn't deserve any effort, quite frankly. I am gonna drink the pineapple juice though. I love pineapple juice. I love pineapple to be fair. And believe it or not, I've drank that and it tastes like sugared water. I still don't have my taste back from COVID, which is actually gonna come in really handy for this dish. So I've got nothing to worry about. Right, so we just get some pineapple slices and just arrange them very delicately on our serving platter. How many do we want? Shall we do five? I think five sounds like a good number because we'll do one in the middle. Maybe I'll do a massive one in the middle. That layout looks delicious. Heavenly. Okay, and then the main ingredient for banana candles is obviously Bananas. So just put our pineapple slices to one side for now. We don't need them just yet. And just peel the banana. Okay, that looks like a nice sized one. Also, I can only apologize if there are an absolute ton of sexual innuendos in this video. That will most likely get me demonetized, but like, I can't help it. I'm making a phallic looking candle thing that you just, you can't not sexualize at all. I think even if a nun made this, she would giggle at the fact that they looked like a penis. <laughs> Alright, chop you in half. Is that just slot in there? Oh, yes! Oh, you're a bit curved. Shove you in there. Oh, it made a nice squelch sound. <laughs> This is not good for someone like me. They're too curved. All the other ones I saw online are very straight. And bananas aren't always straight. They can be curved up and down. They can go left and right. And they can be all different shapes and sizes. They can even be all different colors. We don't judge bananas. It's not what it looks like. It's what it can do for you. Unless obviously you don't like bananas then. It can't do much for you. You may potentially prefer a peach or a... Orange? I'm not sure. <laughs> it makes like a proper squealy squelch sound when you poke it in. I wonder if you can hear this. One sec. I'll, I'll shut up. I'll stop giggling. I don't know whether you heard that, but I can hear it very clearly. And it's quite an upsetting sound, actually. Right, and I want a full-sized banana in the center. I'm definitely making this dish my own, too. I've seen pictures, and I've listened to advice and recipes, and I'm just, um, I'm incorporating my own thing into it. I'll eat that bit. No, that one droops a bit. No, oh, it might not work. I think that's a bit too big. Mm. 
Now we go perfect. Okay, so, so far it's looking pretty regular, pretty fine, kind of, for what it is. This is where it gets a little bit strange. So now we add mayonnaise onto the top of the banana to resemble wax dripping down, when in reality we all know what it actually looks like. It looks like... <laughs> It looks like the banana got just a tiny bit too excited. But I'll do as I'm told. Do mayonnaise and bananas go together? I don't think they do. Mine's very curved so I can't get it down the... I was gonna say shaft, it's not It's not the shaft of the banana. The underneath of the banana, the curvature. It's quite difficult. I don't wanna get any in the pineapple. I'm so glad I'm not gonna be able to taste this. Just everything I do while I'm doing this feels just overtly sexual. Mayonnaise added. Now, the next step, we need some toothpicks and some cherries. It didn't specify what kind of cherries. And also in other recipes, I saw that they used almonds. But the almonds didn't look like a flame. The cherries supposed to resemble the flame. So I've just went for Glacier Morello cherries. I'm just gonna have one now just to make sure they're okay. I absolutely love cherries. Delicious. Now that I can taste it. I would say I've got about 5% of my taste back. There's like a hint of cherry coming through. It's getting there. I'm just still waiting for this taste to come back. I don't know how long it's supposed to take. The driving is crazy though. Anyway, we pierce our cherry onto the toothpick and just slide it down the tip of the banana. Hold the bottom if you need to. Ah, oh, that just goes on nicely like that. All right, let's repeat that for the others. One of yous did suggest this, by the way, in the last Cooking With Ant video. <laughs> and it was already on my radar, so our minds are very intertwined. I can't remember who it was. I think it was Lucky, possibly. And yous also gave us some other great suggestions that I've added to the list. So hopefully, I'll start to work my way through them for this series that isn't a series. I like how I'm putting so much effort and care into this. I don't know why. I'm putting more care and effort into this than I normally do my serious craft projects. And the final one. Lovely. The thing is, this feels very delicate. Oh, actually, no. They supported quite well. I'm quite shocked. Okay, so this looks very plain, very boring. You could obviously serve this to your family if you wanted to, but no one would appreciate that until you get some mixed leaf salad. And I think this is basically added to detract from the fact that the candles don't look like candles. So we just want to add some foliage around the table. Around the table. Around the centerpiece. Oh, completely losing my mind over this. But you also don't want to hide, obviously, the main event. It should be an embellishment and a compliment to the bananas and not a distraction. I don't think anything could distract you from this, to be fair. I feel like my cherries should have been a bit more red. They're a bit dark, aren't they? And there we go. It's as simple as that. Banana candles. Actually, really easy to make. Would you want to make this? I have no idea. I don't... Uh, uh, it depends on what your personality is like. Now the biggest issue I have with this is how do you eat it? Do you use a knife and fork? Do you use your hands? Or just go straight in and deep throat it? I feel like there's no kind of appropriate way to eat this. So I think I might just go for it. I'm definitely not as nervous about eating this one as I was the last one because I pretty much like everything that's on here. Let's take this banana off. You also have to remember there's a massive toothpick in here so that's dangerous. Safety first. So if I just put the cherry back on top. Oh, oh, back on top like that. I'll just take a bite of the top part and see how we get on. The thing is, obviously I don't have my taste fully back, so I can't appreciate what these taste like. But I don't think they would taste too bad because everything in there I actually like. I like cherries, I like banana, I like mayonnaise. I, in fact, I love mayonnaise. I'll put it on everything. I don't know whether I'd put it on fruit, but I'd put it on most things. Obviously, I want to have a bit of this pineapple too. Just get the full experience. I feel like this is a picky dish. I'm not mad at it. I'm kind of into it. I'm not sure whether it's because of the phallic nature of this dish, why I appreciate it so much. I don't know. It doesn't, it doesn't offend me at all. I find it quite amusing. I think if someone served this at the party... <laughs> I was going to say I'd be friends with them. No, I wouldn't. I would probably think, like, what's what's happened? What's gone on? What's wrong? Have you hit your head? I'm going to finish the pineapple, though, because I love pineapple. <laughs> Way better than the last episode, to be fair. I could quite easily sit here and eat the whole thing. If it didn't have mayonnaise on, it would be, like, a million times better. I also wish my bananas weren't as curved over. In the photos I've seen, they've been, like, super straight. And they must have straighter bananas than we do in the UK. Our bananas are quite curvy. I don't think I've ever seen a super straight banana. But there we go, everyone. Banana candles. You are welcome. Well, that just about does it for another episode of Cooking with Ant. <laughs>
Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And let me know if this is something you would ever make yourself. And in what scenario would you make this? Is this a family get together? Is it a birthday party? Hen, hen do. This would be a perfect dish for a hen do. Or a bachelor party, it depends which way to go. I think I found a new place for this dish to live on for the rest of its life. You're welcome. But if you come across any other weird and strange, vintage, retro, or just modern day weird recipes that you want me to try in one of these episodes, then let me know down in the comments and I'll do my best to make it. I got a lot of suggestions last time for tripe. I really don't wanna make tripe. That sounds awful. But anyway, I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Come on, banana candles, I'm gonna finish you off.